Hey guys, so today I wanted to show something and uh, I know that I appear fatter but this is because of my clothes. Now, I've been losing quite a lot of weight and so this blouse here, the beard is larger because of my boobs and you can see here that it opens and it appears that it's because of my chest but in fact it still has, you know, the because there was at some point that this would open up like this and the button cases are a little damaged and all the fabric, because it was stretchy, stretchy has the, the, the habit from my body then you can see here it's large but and it appears that it's filled, but it's not filled. So what happens is, as you can see, it's large here on my chest area, maybe here, although it pulls when I move my arm. So this is how large it is. Basically, this is how large it is. You can see that I lost quite a lot of weight and I couldn't even close it properly. And now this is very, very loose. And uh, yeah, so this is part of the thing. <laughs> and the skirt, I may tell you about this skirt. This skirt is so large that I already fixed it twice. And uh, this is how it fits now. And uh, you can see that here, hang on completely turned here there I fixed it on this side and on this side so this is how much it got large so basically if I go it so I go it to one side and if I stretch it this is how far it goes and this is how it So this is how it goes to one side and <coughs> it completely falls out and you can see here that on both corners I already fixed it and I have fixed it again. So this is how much I how much weight I lost. And I'm bloated now because um on certain uh, portions of the month, like start getting bloated mid month, and then again at the end of the month, I get bloated and I am bloated, but you can see all that. And yes, you can see this is large, although, and it opens up because, um, and so, oh, hang on, this position is better. And see actually that all this is indent indentation from my private pre previous weight. So because of the bra and all that, it still opens up, but it's not because of my weight. And the arms, the arms are so large. You can see here, this is how much I have left from my wrist. And usually I only had this left, and now I have all this left on my wrist. So a lot actually changed. And I have other clothes, actually, but I can't be that uh, modest showing how large they fit because um, I can't wear anything underneath those clothes. So, hmm, yeah. This one is a button up, so it's easier. And uh, the skirt, I have some leggings underneath. So if it fell off, it would be easier. So yeah, I have all my clothes getting larger. Old clothes that didn't fit, fitting again. So I'm losing a lot of weight. And underwear <laughs> that I couldn't fit in because I bought it when I was extremely, you know, at my lowest weight, 
I now fit in it, and not only that, that underwear is large. So I'm down six clothing sizes on my bottom half, four clothing sizes on my top half, least, and four bra sizes. So overall, that's my weight loss, and uh, you can also see my face. I still have this here, but this is normal because of my health uh, problems. I think that even if I lose all the excess weight, I'll still have this here. But you can see how my face also slimmed down quite a lot, a little, quite a lot, <laughs> actually. And um, yeah. Sorry for my messy hair, I just washed it today, but because it's summer, um, it gets all like this. So that's it for this video, I hope you liked it, and I just wanted to show a little about my clothes, it's, it's really, I'm swimming in these clothes, actually, I think it almost fits two of me here, so this is pretty much and uh i know you don't see a lot of different on um, the front part of the body because i am i have essentially basically losing my weight on my back and on my legs but still uh it's quite a lot of weight that i've been losing and i don't know this medicine is a miracle um i don't know it's just I've struggled for so many years to lose weight and how in little, such a little time, I lose so, so much weight and I'm dumbfounded. It's like I worked out so much at the gym. I did so much to lose weight and I couldn't. And now with minimal effort, I'm just shedding everything so easily. It's like it feels surreal that I'm losing so much weight in such little time. So unbelievable. It's like, you know what? It's. I see all these obese people that complain about health conditions. They're taking medicines and they still get fetter and fetter and fetter and you know all people saying that oh you're overweight and it's because uh, you eat too much and all that and now I see the difference because before this medicine I couldn't lose weight no matter how much I worked out and now even without doing much effort being basically sedentary because I can't take the heat. I basically, during the summer, I live at night because I sweat like crazy during the day. And yes, I pace a lot, I move a lot when I'm up, but still, that doesn't explain the amount of crazy weight I've been losing. I lost 10 kilos this month alone. This month alone, like 20 kilos since I started taking the medication, it's crazy. It's like how much exercise I've done, I've done, how much I spent at a gym, how much effort I've done, how much dieting I've done, never worked. You know, a simple freaking drug, a simple freaking little drug makes me shed all this weight like crazy and I it's oh gosh how a little hormone just a small little hormone can do this to you and it's like uh, it's like I I really don't know how you know it changed so much not only that I used to have you know, because my doctor said that I have polycystic ovaries because uh, last year, two years ago, I started having problems with my periods. Uh, and
and uh, since I'm taking this medication, it's even more regular than it used to be because I've always been regular until, up until two to three years ago, but it was every three, five days, and now it's a, I'm starting to get it every 27 to 28 days, and on my most problematic days, I would only started getting oh, it's every seven months, every two months, and every three months. But uh, the before I started taking the medication, I was getting it only every two months, and now it's coming not only every month, right on time. It's back to being light again, as it used to be, and it's healthy and it's. I feel so. Uh, I don't know. My cycles are normal. Um, I'm losing a lot of weight. I. Uh, <laughs> I notice how easier it is for me to go from point A to point B. Now I never had motility problems. I'm very resilient, and I walk well. But I have a very poor cardiovascular health. Part because as a kid I had bronchitis, as asthmatic bronchitis. So whatever, I don't know, it's a mix of asthma and bronchitis, whatever you call it. And um, to this day I can't breathe properly. And then whenever I had to walk during very humid or dry hair, climb, uh, I get really poor breathing. And I'm not tired per se, but my breathing and cardiac Car car cardiac activity but boosts up, but now I notice as I go upstairs, upstairs, and um, I don't tire as easily. My lungs have a better capacity, and uh, yeah, and I still love to walk. <laughs> it's incredible because people tend to assume that people who are overweight bees don't like to walk. But I love to walk, and now my lungs can keep up with that thing, that taste that I have for walking. I, even when I was lighter, I didn't have such good cardiovascular uh, health that, as I have now, so I'm really glad that all this is happening. My health is improving greatly, my, you know, it's just amazing and uh yes i know this is really large and i still appear large on camera because i have all this extra skin um but um i'm not going to buy clothes before i reach my final weight so i will still appear as big as i am or as I was, due to my clothes. But as you can see, there's a lot of empty space here. Maybe if I iron it, I don't, although I don't like to iron it because this fabric has a little, well, it's not exactly plastic, well, it is plastic, you know, the shiny part. So I don't really like to iron this shirt, but I'll probably have to iron it a few times so that it loses the, the stretch it got from my previous body. And uh, it's crazy, for instance, how large it is up here, because here, completely lost. This area here is completely skinny. So a lot of here, um, okay, <laughs> that's the problem with this shirt. Because I used to have bigger boobs. Now, uh, it got the, um, even if it's large, it got the bad habit of opening itself. So that's why I need to iron it so that it loses all this stretch. You know, trying to iron it so that it goes lower, like lower here, rather than here, you know trying to fix the, how do you call it, the, the fabric stretch, 
you know, because of the, the fabric stretches in two ways. And when you're fat, you tend to steal the vertical stretch and make it horizontal. So what I'm trying to do by ironing this shirt several times or putting weights while it's drying is trying to fix over four years of fat stretch so that it sits more normal like this, you see, instead of sitting, you know, there. But yeah, it has this bad stretch. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, see, I'm sweating and it's night. So that's why I live at night. Um, I also want to say that, um, you know, I go to the synagogue every day, every day. It's closed. I just stand outside staring at it and saying a few prayers, a few words. But now I think I'm going to every to start saying my morning prayers and night prayers there, not my afternoon prayers, because uh, there are construction workers at such a time. But I think uh, I'm going there. It's, it's like I, there is no minion, there is no rabbi, there is no service, <laughs> there is nothing. But I think it's better than to pray in my room, you know, that street has such a meaning you know meaningful presence and it's um it's part of the history of my city and so i'm going to the jewelry street uh to the synagogue to pray not to the synagogue to the front of the synagogue but yeah i got upset though because one of the inhabitants of that street as a freaking uh, what do you call them? Virgin Mary of Fatima or whatever picture right on their window so close to the synagogue. <laughs> I just want to freaking take that picture and burn it. It's like they are so close to the synagogue and they have to display their idols. It's so, oh gosh, if I had money, I'd buy that house just so that I could take that picture and burn it. Uh, anyway, that's it for today, and, uh, bye-bye, God bless you, and so, yeah, um, that's it for today. I'm sorry, I'm really, I know there is a very bad lighting here, but if I turn down this light, you couldn't see how large my clothes are, and, uh, how slim my arms look by comparison and so yeah so that's uh that's it for today and bye, bye wish me luck soon i swear that by september i'll probably wait very close to my final goal and i'm not even exercising as much as I was. Now I'm just walking. What I do basically every day is just walking to the synagogue. That's all I do is walking to the synagogue. And I'm losing weight like crazy. If I started exercising as I was prior to taking this medicine, I'd disappear completely. Anyway, that's it for today. Bye-bye.